Her field of study is in remote sensing and GIS, and she has working interests in radar inferometry, for land deformation detections and optical images for air pollution determination. So, there we hello, go. hello, Dr. Tran. Yeah. Um, without further ado, I give you the floor. Okay. So now I share. Can you see? Uh, not yet. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Not yet. Not yet? Sorry. Not yet, no. Um. There we go. Okay, I'll add you to the stream and I'll disappear quickly. <laughs> Now, uh, can you see my screen? Yep, and um, looks good. Uh, it's okay. Yep, okay. all all okay. Oh, because uh, the internet in here maybe is had problem a little bit late um, slow, so maybe okay. it's, it's uh, probably come just late. In case something Sorry. goes on, I'll probably just hang around here for you in case something uh, goes. Wrong. But can, you, can you hear clearly? Yep, I can hear clearly and I can see your presentation. Uh, I hope uh, everybody can hear clearly uh, all my presentation. Thank you. Uh, this My presentation is about landslide monitoring by Sentinel-1 uh, time series images in the Inbai uh, province in one small district in Inbai province. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, a little bit about the contents, I will introduce something of reason for our research uh, methodology, data, and uh, uh, results and discussion and conclusions. Uh, as you know, landslide is a time of disaster, disaster that occur uh, frequently in mountainous area, especially in um, the mountainous of Vietnam, and causing uh, severe da damage to human life, materials, facility, and serious environment impact. Landslides triggered by uh, many factors uh, like um, brainstorm, uh, soil weathering process, and include um, indigenous activities. Uh, like uh, road cutting or etc. So in here you can see uh, the photos of some area in um, Van Yen district um, in Bai province in Vietnam. Uh, the landslide is not uh, so so much, but it still um, happen year by year. So it's make uh, very dangerous for the people uh, live around. So uh, we select the method uh, using in this uh, research is um, uh, PSI, it's called PSI star method. So this method is a me um, method uh, developed from trans traditional method of determining ground deformation named DINSAR, uh, differential side interferometry method that uh, the land deformation um, can detect by the phase shift between two or three images acquired in different time over the same area on the surface. Uh, Assumption that we have to uh, acquisition time in here uh, from the satellite images, it will create the phase different. So you can see the equation in here, we can uh, see the difference uh, between the two, um, two images uh, have the different um, time. So usually it can create from the phase displacement uh, plus with phase topography, that means uh, relate to the elevation and uh, with the different phase of atmosphere before and after the um, 
after one image list. So uh, the problem in here, we want to extract the phase dif displacement in this equation. That means we can remove the failure elevation, but the atmosphere we cannot uh, remove because uh, the atmosphere uh, in the different time is will be different. Uh, if it had the same, it will, uh, that means it will be zero. That is good, but in real, um, um, real condition is never the same. So it had problem when we use two images. So that mean PS inside image which is the time survey of images. That mean we have many images and many images will create many you know, pair of images. So each pair of images will have the the distance between them the core is the baseline. So each pair of images will create uh, many point. The point can have the back scatter, high back scatter. Uh, we call it the persistent scatter all the time. Uh, that means the, all the pair of images will have many um, persistent scatter and we can take the persistent scatter to detect the chains of the um, elevation. So uh, it is can take the good quality of the pixel point. We don't take all uh, the image, all the pixel on the images. So that why is the method. So uh, our study areas uh, here you can see in uh, Van Yen district. Uh, located in near the north of uh, Vietnam. You can see it here in Vietnam um, had the border near to China. So the Yenbai province is around here. So um, in these areas, uh, the elevation is around uh, from 200 meters to 1,800 um, 1, meters. So you can see here, a big rivers um, from is run from China to Vietnam and uh, it's originated from uh, Wunan, China, and it has long about seventy kilometer long run uh, through these through these areas. So um, it river also make many problem for the. Um, for the area around the rivers and also it make many less line uh, around that areas so data uh we use the data is sentinel one data um descending orbit um as you know sentinel one data is a free uh, data from isa and um in this case, we use a single look complex images. Uh, that means it's one type of images have a separate the phase and amplitude. Uh, so in this case, we use the VV polarization for that. And in this table, you can see the acquisition, date of acquisition, uh, we use 28 images from uh, 2019 January to 2021 March. And um, the baseline in here, that means the distance from the master image to the slave images as um, uh, or almost is uh, short because with the um, um, P, um, PSI method, uh, it's required the, the shortest baseline is good for the quality of uh, uh, images processing. So that's why we have to select uh, the, the short bay like this. Um, with the images processing this time, we use uh, two software. The first is Snap, and the second is Thumb MPS. Uh, Snap is the common architectures for all Sentinel toolbox 
is be, being jointly developed by Brooklyn uh, consultants Skywatch and CS now called the Sentinel application platform. Uh, it uh, can be a free download from ESA website. And the other is STAM, MPS. That means the Stanford method for persistence gather. Um, and um, uh, it's very, also it's also the um, free, um, free software can uh, be downloaded and it run on um, MATLAB uh, in um, Linux OS. So uh, the processing can divide it into uh, block. The first is um, uh, create the single pair of images. So with the center of one uh, single look complex images, you know, uh, it's had three track, the three um, three track we had to to extract extract uh, for the sentinel. Uh, we cannot use all three tracks together because the the track is uh, had the uh, cannot um, analysis in the same in the same time. So um, we had to to select the sub swap for, for for the master images first and um, prepare the slate uh, image and then um, splitting the slate images. And the, uh, after we doing the uh, pair, um, each pair of images, we can export to some MPS and running. It just um, follow the step uh, in here. Uh, you can see in here this software, uh, just with the snap, uh, we can create the graph the graph can automatically run uh, to create the interferogram for each pair of images. It can be shown like this one uh, in, on, on the screen. And the other is STAM MPS. You can see in here, uh, the um, interface um, is run on the MATLAB uh, in uh, Linux OS. Here's the chat of uh, position and the connection sentinel one images you can see in here uh in the, we select one image in 2020 is master and the other is uh, the slave images is look like this one so uh, the result of sli last slide yeah uh, by this one after after uh, processing 28 images you can see in here the um the last line it's happened in uh, in some area with the um the dot uh, like this one it was um average uh in um per years uh is about um minus minus uh, 16 millimeter per years uh in in around in these areas and uh, in these areas so uh, you can see in, uh, in in all the images uh, there are many many dots, uh, but not all of them are the landslide. So that's why we have to compare it with the um, uh, landslide inventory map. But actually, the landslide inventory map uh, in the right uh, on the right you can see in here um, it was. Um, uh, updated in uh, 2014 a little bit uh, very old um, so uh, the comparing is um, uh, actually is not so good but uh, we we just have only one uh, this um, map for comparing uh, and also because of the uh, COVID-19 we did not go to the field uh, check uh, in this time so um, we had to to do some the other thing for for validating the result of that. So, um, uh, and firstly, we had to to mark some slope um, slope reaches uh, than seventy degree and smaller than twenty degree. That means um, if the slope is greater than seventy degree, is um, is less landslide. 
and also less than 20 degree also also so we make the mass and uh, um to highlight uh, or some uh, some area that have um, opportunity to have the uh, landslide in here you can see in in this uh, area in in uh, the northern in the top and uh, here uh, also you you can see in in this area this area and also that but uh, actually we still um don't know exactly if that uh, uh, that uh, comparing with the the real um, landslide so we uh, did more data with that uh, as you know uh, as you listen to some um, some research uh, before about the the Google Earth engine so uh, we also try to do it with the star amplitude chain detection on Google Earth engine in the same time um, but this one we use uh, just only amplitude you know with the google Earth engine it just only have available with the amplitude image so that why we just collect only amplitude images for for this so with this one we we collect the pre and after pre and post the event that mean um, we take from uh, uh, 2019, uh, about May to 2021 to March, uh, but we have to separate the pre and and post for for detect the difference between two time for checking. Uh, why we did this because uh, because of uh, COVID nineteen we didn't. Uh, we could not go out for the field check for the um, last line detection in this area. So we had to to check and to see the the chains of the surface. So we want to we hope to to comparing between the chains of the surface with the last line happen using the the um, single loop complex. Uh, of Sentinel One images. So uh, this is um, the flowchart of using um, Sentinel One routing detected the image um, here, which is a very simple, uh, very simple uh, thing be before and after the images using ratio images between them. And uh, this is the reference from two uh, two paper uh, in this. Uh, so uh, using uh, the time before and after um, one event, that means the event we collect, and that is um, the rain rainy season. That means before and after the rainy season, we select the images and input. The, the images into the the code, the code and uh, create um, the ratio of amplitude stack pre and post and makes a threshold uh, based uh, based on mass by using SRTM 30 mirror. Uh, that mean in this case also we uh, mass um, the um, um, the chains up um, greater than uh, 70 degree and less than 30, uh, 20 degree of slope and also comparing uh, with the lens line inventory. So um, after computing this, you can see in here uh, there's some uh, red, red dot in, in here comparing with the triangle, um, violet triangle in, in this uh, is the inventory Let's like inventory map uh, from 2014, and um, there are some there are some um, coincident with the uh, let's like inventory map, but still have the the some area is not um, 
uh, not coinciding with that. Uh, so I we also comparing with with the um, uh, lens light uh, computing from the uh, single look complex images from Sentinel One uh, and uh, create the um, the chart. Uh, you can see in here in in the north and in the north and it have some uh, point and uh, in here uh, we select some um, some area that had the also the the film work from 2014 and take only one point uh, one point in in here uh, in these areas and uh, create the chance of time series you can see in here the time series uh, vary from the uh, 2000 and 19 January to 2021 um, March uh, and uh, the the change of the um, the length you can see is happen in here is um, vary from uh, maybe uh, from 30 uh, millimeter to minus 40 millimeters but the average is about uh, maybe is minus 15 uh, millimeter uh, per year and also uh, in another place also have, have much um, much less not happen in here uh, you can see but the average of the last line in this area is also about uh, maybe less than uh, 10 millimeter per year uh, because um, in this area you can see many uh, coinciding uh, with the um, landslide inventory map and we also take one point in here to take the charts you can see uh, in here that the the change it uh, a little bit cause in this area and with uh, the third area also uh, you can see in this you can uh, in this area have uh, some place uh, around here, around here, there's a landslide uh, at average, um, at average um, about um, less than that, less than uh, ten minus ten uh, millimeter per year. And, uh, and after all, uh, we have the conclusion about that. Uh, you see, after using the 28 uh, Sentinel-1A one, one satellite images uh, over urban industry uh, in Bipro-Vin, um, we think that uh, with the PS Star and using with SNAP 8.0 and Star MPS 4.1 software, the last line identification result Mm, indicated that uh, the EU of multi temporal radar satellite images with PS INSAR have to better understand and model the progress of lens line. In addition, based on the time series of Sentinel 1 data, the lens line velocity can be uh, generally calculated at certain time, even for very small deformation millimeter per year and the lens light point are concentrated on traffic road or stream or rivers according to the data collected from vietnam institutes of geo science and minerals some of lens light from sentinel one coincided with the survey point uh, from 2014 but there was uh, also many points could not check so the star based amplitude change using Google Earth engine uh, can be used to detect the change over the last year. Mm, the main goal uh, was to apply to detect the surface change that coincided with the lens line made from PS inside. So there were many places uh, where some amplitude change is not related to lens line. This must be uh, maybe uh, can be caused, oh sorry, uh, because of the um, seasonal change, um, maybe those, um, because of seasonal change, uh, like uh, 
um, cropland or something like this. So um, in the future, we think we have to uh, to have to go to the field work to check uh, for validation that, and also to improve the the code for Google Earth Engine to to make more accurate uh, accurate result for that. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention. And here is uh, my uh, email address. Uh, if you want to to ask me more detail or uh, to um, connect something, so please send me email. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Tran. Um, let me just remove that before we get all confused. Um, uh, Professor Chan is also joined by a colleague who was a co-author on the paper, um, Dr. Chuang. Chuang, okay. yeah. Chuang, okay. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, yeah. While we wait for the live stream to catch up uh, with questions, um, maybe I'll just ask one. Um, so you were using the PS INSA method um, and I think you also talked a little bit about differential SA in from I can't pronounce it, but D in SA method, um, which you said, um, while it may be useful, it does have some limitations in its use. Um, I was wondering if you encountered any limitations with using DPS in SA method for your study. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I was wondering if you. <laughs> Maybe I'll, that was a very long-winded explanation. Um, I was wondering if um, you use PS INSA for mm. your methods. Um, I was wondering if there's any limitations that you might have encountered during your study implementing this method. Our limitation for uh, for encountering uh, uh, in my area of uh, study area. Yeah. Um, the limitation, I think, um, the tense of vegetation um, is um, one uh, big problem for the PS INSA that um, uh, because of the, our areas, there are uh, many forest areas. So um, with the C band of Sentinel 1, it Cannot uh, penetrate to through the 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 forest, and uh, is you know, maybe in, in that area is, is lost current, and also is lost current is well uh, cannot create the the PS point for that. So maybe um, under under the uh, the forest maybe had uh, the last line, but we cannot uh, detect. Fair enough. Um, you also mentioned uh, quite a few times that you weren't able to carry out some validation exercises because of COVID. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if you have any future plans to carry out these exercises for your study? Um, uh, I mean, um, uh, maybe in, in Maybe maybe in next or in, in the end of this uh, years we had to go to the field check uh, for mm -hmm. validation because uh, uh, all the results we still um, don't know exactly and uh, we cannot conclude that, that in this area uh, that's what happened uh, exactly also because we just compare with the uh last line inventory map but it's too old and yeah. it needs to update uh, for that so that's why we had to try to do the the change uh using amplitude uh from google Earth engine to detect the change and comparing but it still have uh not not many um, not many results had to coincide between the uh, two, you know, two results. Still had problem because uh, you know with the amplitude data, it will detect many chains even with um, 
with the uh, cropland chains and um, many things change, it will show on that. So that's why it is still a problem with the result of, of um, our research. Yeah. <laughs> No, okay, that's completely understandable. Nobody can um, avoid COVID at this point in time. Um, I don't see any questions at the moment, maybe some comments with regards to the slave and master terminology, which I completely agree, um, to hopefully change the terminology. Um, and someone has suggested, oh, should commented um, that the new response the new term is reference and secondary instead of slave and master. So that's something I learned uh, today. Um, but thank you so much for taking out your time uh, to present your great work in Vietnam. Um, I think if anybody else has any questions, they'll probably contact you via email or maybe find you in another room <laughs> if you have any questions. Um, and we'll move on to our next presentation. Thank you so much, Dr. Trong, Trong, and Professor Trong for joining us. Yeah. Thank you.